Good evening. Uh, that music's a little loud. Hey, 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 hey. I am. Hey, Nessie. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Sorry. Um, I am back for another weekend of uh, Lego building. Actually, I was originally gonna do this like the day after. Uh, how do I sound, by the way? Do I sound okay? I'm a little further from the mic, obviously, because I'm sitting back. I was originally going to do this, um, the day after the NES build, but, um, I ended up getting, well, various things happened, and, and now a week, a week and a day has gone by, and I am finally, finally back, uh, which means it is time, once again, to turn on the webcam. Give me one second. There we go. We got, got some Mega Man going on here, even though the music right now is uh, Phoenix Wright. We'll, be, we'll probably be hearing some Mega Man music at some point tonight. I sound good? Good. Music's not too loud? Hey dude, can't stay long, but I figured stop by and also say hi. Also some more bits? Thank you. Appreciate it. That music's loud to me. I don't I don't know if it's loud to anyone else. I, can, I can't hear myself that well over it. Um, let me adjust the screen a bit. So yeah, I have a I have a new camera angle now. Originally this was on top of my computer. Now I have it angled downwards. Here I am. Yeah. But this should be a much nicer. Yeah, wow, that is an NES. Yes, I have it right here. Uh, this should be a, a much nicer view of the building area, uh, and you get a nicer view of the Mega Man shirt from the Yeti. That uh, I think they sell it still, but it's like different colors. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is what I built last Saturday. Uh, it took me almost exactly five hours to build. Uh, it's the Lego NES. It's got a controller. It actually plugs in. It doesn't stay in that well, but it's pretty cool. Um, you got the flap here. You got the whole push mechanic with a Mario Brothers cartridge. It's pretty neat. You can actually slide it in, except I lost track of where the slider was. Again, this is just recapping. You've probably all seen this already. Yeah, it's Legos. And yeah, and also, if you look over here, there's uh, World 1-2 of Mario Brothers. See, there's Mario right there. Right there. And there are the warp pipes. That's the minus world pipe right there. You gotta clip through the wall to get to that one. So, yes. Uh, yeah, you got the grill, the ports, and everything again. Uh, I streamed this last week. If you missed it, it's all on YouTube now. And I think the VOD is still on Twitch. Very nice piece of, uh, very nice piece of hardware. Was well worth the time uh, spent to build it. I'm gonna just click, click the controller in like that so it stays secure. But tonight, we're going to be building the second part of the kit, which is, uh, let's see if I can get it on shot here. No, it's too big. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be building this right here, this thing, the TV with actual rotating crank on the side, which is uh, something I'm very familiar with. If there's one thing I, I do a lot of, it's uh, rotating cranks. Yeah, it does look just like the real thing. It's really, it's, it's pretty amazing. Like, they don't use any proprietary pieces either. It's all, like, standard Lego pieces that you could get in most kits with, like, maybe one or two spring pieces, which still are, you know, you could get those in certain kits that aren't, you know, this one. So it's pretty impressive. Um, let me start by... Okay, uh, hold on. Start by... Okay. All right. Ignore that. Uh, let me pull up a chill any uh, SNES thing so we can start listening to that. SNES relaxing. Three hours of relaxing Super Nintendo music. There we go. Now we're in business. There's a lot of songs I don't know on this list. Okay, that's good. 18 volume. If you can't hear it that well, just let me know. Alright, so... Getting started. Uh, it's pretty much going to be a repeat of last time, just with different pieces. I don't know if I want to pour this out. This again? Unbelievable. Sakurai, stop bothering me. Okay, so uh, we have to actually start, because it doesn't start from one, it starts from the other uh, part. But yeah, every one of these bags at some point is going to be used. 
Dropped a whole bag. <laughs> McCall for Smash, yes. And we're gonna be using the other sticker too. This angle is much better. It's way easier to see what I'm doing. Got one bag here, another bag there. Cool. I put the manuals in this box, so. Nope. <laughs> one million pieces? No, it's two. It actually says right in the box, it's uh. Can I get that on camera? 2,646 pieces. And I built half of it. It is a challenge. Where is the manual? It like slid down. Alright, Shell Shock, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Ooh, that ambience. That's good ambience right there. Okay. I'm presumably not going to need the big box anymore after this. So I have to get tossed out tomorrow with the recycling. Tomorrow night. Okay, here we go. Here's the TV box. TV. Building instruction thing. I actually read the inside of both of them uh, after the last stream. Or last time I did this. Uh, it just, it's nothing too detailed. It's just a couple pages. And it's, it's written in three languages. So it's like a tiny blurb. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start with this, uh, obviously. And also, yeah, if you have the, uh, you have the Lego Mario figure, you can put it on top of the TV and it makes noise. Unfortunately, I do not have that, because they don't sell the figure on its own. You have to buy the $60 starter kit, which I have zero interest in buying. Um, well, I guess minimal interest, since I want the Mario figure. Okay, so we're gonna start with Bag 9, and it's gonna build some part of the internal that I don't know which part it is, so... Let me fiddle with some stuff over here real quick. Anyway, I figured I'd do Super Nintendo music today, because even though it's still the NES set, uh, it's just a CRT TV, which is, you know, that could be used to play Super Nintendo games too. That's my one thing, like, if they do a Super Nintendo Lego, like a Lego Super Nintendo, they can't do the TV again, because what am I going to do, get, like, four TVs? Ridiculous. We don't, who needs that many TVs? No one. No one needs that many TVs. Here's bag nine. Found it. Don't throw Legos, you say, but what am I going to do? Break them? They're already single pieces. Alright, so last time I had the book right here. Who watches TV nowadays? Exactly. TVs are for video games. Ah! Okay. Uh, so, you can't really see the instructions as clear, but you'll be able to see the building. Well, not if it's like that. Um, should get that folded down a bit. That's pretty good. Just checking the messages real quick. I made what the hip kids call a viral tweet today. So my Twitch, my Twitter messages have been a little uh, out of whack. I don't often create hit tweets, but when I do, I forget how to capitalize on them. My uh, most seen tweet was one from, I think, 2017? It was when the Switch got its 4.0.0 update, and I made a post about the uh, the ASCII controller for Fantasy Star Online, where it's got, like, the whole keyboard in between the two sides of the controller. It got, like, a million hits, I think, and, like, several hundred thousand uh, likes, which is pretty neat. Viral tweets don't don't amount to much. I'll say that. <laughs> okay, let me. Uh, what was your viral tweet? Uh, yeah, it was the one I made today. Was the one about uh, about Joe Biden playing Mario Kart over the weekend. All right, so we're gonna start with ease. This is really nice. Like I don't have to hold them up. Like the angle is way easier to hold them up at. Maybe I could actually just angle this up slightly. There we go. Now that now there's less real estate devoted to the book. 
So I got these, and we're gonna be putting them. Oh, I need both of them actually. If you're putting them straight on the ends. All right, it's coming together. Does this look like a TV yet? Uh, I need a brown plate. Again, this build could take a while. The the NES took me five hours. Uh, this supposedly takes longer, which isn't a little worrying, but if it's like an extra hour, we could go till like 12.30, 1 o'clock if I have to. Uh, this is probably going to just... This is going to be the stream for the day. I'm not going to be playing a game. Um, tomorrow, though, I might be... Well, what I'm gonna, cause for some reason there's a, there's a, they're doing a holiday in Animal Crossing on a Monday, which is ridiculous. No one has off tomorrow. That's not a good time to do a holiday. So what I might do is, uh, I might, uh, you know, be a dirty little cheater and time travel a bit, uh, stream the event in Animal Crossing just to have like a reason to go back to the game on stream. Yeah, no, the, Nessie, don't don't worry about staying up for this. The, this build is going to take me well past midnight, at least. If you have to go, if you have to sleep, go sleep. Obviously, when you get sleepy, I mean. Uh. Okay, this piece, uh, this good piece goes right here. ASMR building, yes. Oh, wait a minute. We have to, like, put this plate on another plate now. I need this slightly bigger... Wait, no. Is this bigger or is this the same size? It is the exact same size. Okay, I need this single circular piece. Uh, to go on the end, and I need two more blue 2 by 2s But yeah, I'm thinking tomorrow uh, I'll stream. Gotta leave at 8.30 or else I won't fall asleep. Okay, it's no problem. Just coming by and, and having you support me is, is all the... All the... the all that I... That I <laughs> uh... Nessie gets me flustered easily. I love my Valentine's Day gift. Let me show it off real quick. Nessie got me this for Valentine's Day. A really nice uh, Viking comb, which to use on my beard. And along with that, uh, she got me a bottle of Grimfrost beard oil made in Sweden to keep my beard uh, luxurious and healthy. I used it, I loved it, I'm gonna keep using it. Uh, okay, we're ready to move on. I got some other goodies to show off too. Well, one goodie actually, that I got from last week till now. Okay, more red pieces on the blue. And I need that last one in here on the brown. I love the gift almost as much as I love you, Nessie. Ooh, is this, uh... Yep, this is Tetris Attack music. I know this music anywhere. Plain green brick, which again, like I said last stream, uh, green bricks, when I was a kid, were unheard of. You could only ever get green base plates, never bricks. And not like these base plates, I mean like the circular edge ones. Okay, and now we need to put a blue plate on top of here. This piece at the end still isn't being held in that well. Now I need six of the of the rods. Okay, I need all six of these Technic rods. And I'm going to shove them into the red pieces. So like this. Like that. I believe this is the credits of, uh, Tetris Attack. Or, sorry, Panel de Pawn, as, uh, Nintendo now has to re has to only refer to it by. <gasps> no! Er, oh, that's the first piece I dropped. Take a shot. These are Sunday shots. Ugh. 
all the forget you have to go to work the next day. Is this broken? No, never mind. It's just a slanted piece. It's hot. It's bopping. Gotta make sure to push this down more uh, thoroughly. Okay, now I need the 4x, uh, I think 12? 10? 10. 4x12. Nope. Uh, and I need... I love how step 10 is this piece. Not even anything, just take the piece. Now step 11 is to put this piece on it, uh, in a, thusly. Now I need two connector nudges, the whatever, I don't know. I, I make up words because I don't know how to say things. It's very weird. If left to my own devices, I wonder if I could ever figure out how this thing would be made. Like, without having to use the instruction manual. Okay, flat piece there. Six studs. Here? Yep, here. Okay, they gotta, they gotta connect to the bottom of these spinny pieces. What's the point of having- well, I guess it's to secure it. I was gonna say, if they can't spin, then why have them? That's half the fun. Alright, now I need some really weird pieces. Definitely non-standards. Um, they look like 3x3 three three flat pieces, but they have a curved edge on them. It's very, very interesting. It reminds me of that level from 3D World I played the other day where the platform's like that, where I only had 100 seconds and there was that box with the unlimited coins in it. And I was like, this shit's gotta end someday, and it didn't. But, uh, yeah, oh. Back to what I was saying before about Animal Crossing. Yeah, I might play, uh, I might do the Festival event tomorrow. Uh, just time travel back a bit, so it's like the middle of the day, so I could go to the shops. And then, uh, I might do more Mario 3D World afterwards. I could probably make some decent progress in it, uh, pretty quickly. And then Tuesday, I'll probably do X7, or X, X7, X8. And, uh, then I'll probably go back to 3D World after that, we'll see. X8 has a lot of weird stuff in it, like, apparently you have to beat the game to get unlock some of the stuff and there's some stuff that you can only do on New Game Plus and there's some stuff that you can only do with like a cheat code specifically so very curious about that I haven't looked into it fully okay I need these noodle pieces as I call them they look like little macaroni and cheese noodles which by the way I'm out of I have no macaroni and cheese in this house and that makes me upset And I need a four stud piece that has like a weird thing in the middle. Where is it? Oh no, am I already losing pieces? It's not this. Uh, it's close to this though. It was hidden under the book. This is what it looks like. It's like a little... It's got like a chunk missing from it. But I have to put it down with the missing chunk going in the back. SimCity! like this music. Okay, now I have to line this up with the yellow piece here. So it's a... Kind of just... They don't line up perfectly, though. Okay, yeah, no, they're not supposed to. Let's just click that in. I just realized this table with its curved thing combined with the chair makes me look like I'm sitting on like a high chair, or like some chair with the with the with a table built into it. It's all black. Uh, okay. Oh, I need a lot of pieces for this step. Uh, I need the brown rod. I need the green circle, which 
is uh, actually flat, but with like a little hole on the top. I need the one two stud flat piece, green. I need a brown. A lot of greens and browns here. And then I need the gray with the holes in the middle. Okay, so one. Oh, this is like sub steps. Okay. Oh, there's multiple sub steps for this. I have to actually do these two pieces separately and then combine them into one. Oh, and I need a red. Like, okay. I need I need this thing. This thing that I heavily associate with Technic. Circle side down. And now... I connect. Uh, and now this part goes here? Yep, goes right, at, right on the end. This is a TV, all right. Bum, ba, 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 da, 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 This is the starting music from SimCity. Sim, SimCity. Okay, this goes with like a piece hanging off the edge. And I need two of these that go on top of this part and one that goes on top of this part up uh, everyone knows this song this is Kr krungo Kr krungo Kr uh, trigger chunk chungus trigger okay this requires the remaining brown pieces in this kit or in this uh step at least so got the flat one, got the long one. I don't know what that one above it is. Oh, uh, is it? Wait a minute, what? Hold on. Oh, okay, let's put this one on there. And now this piece goes under. It makes kind of like a, a stud at the end, but part of it is recessed a bit. That's cool. Now we place it down, like so. Okay, now I need one of these. This piece, and this piece. Now we repeat the process on the other side. Now I need the ramp piece. Uh, where is that? I saw it before, now I lost it. Here it is. Standard uh, rampy piece, rampy boy. Now I need these two. And... They go to left and right of the ramp. And now I start using these interesting pieces. They're like one stud at the end and then two on the other end, but there's no studs on the middle part. So if you take two of them, you theoretically get... Oh, they have to actually be opposite ends, though. They have to be facing different ways. Or rather, the same way. Actually, wait a minute. This is, this is interesting. It's a good thing I didn't immediately start putting these down. Because I would have messed it up. Uh, okay, there are three. There are three. Uh, one of each direction. Or three. Excuse me. There are three of each direction. There we go. And if you put them together like that, you get like a three by th uh, three by four stud piece, which is neat. So what I have to do is I have to take ones that are facing outward from the pieces like this and do that. And now I need 
this piece right here, this piece right here, and this piece, and th where's the other one? There we go. And now on the center, facing inwards, I place it down, place it down. Really hard to see that because all the pieces are black. There we go. There's something. Okay, I need all four of the upwards facing pieces that are here, and we're just gonna go straight across. So we're gonna do one, two, three. Don't roll away, barrel, please. Stay there. Thank you. Four. And now we need the rest of these, and we're just gonna stack them on top of the initial ones. Feels kind of pointless and wasteful to me, but again, it's reinforcement. It's not meant to be, um... Credits theme from, uh, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. Uh, Link to the Past. And now we get to connect this piece over here. I think. I don't know, the, di the diagram isn't too clear here. I think it's... Like that? Because this looks like these go right up to that part in the middle, or at the end, rather. Like... Like that, kind of, except I think it's not on fully at the moment. Two of these, one of these, and one of these. Okay, the long part of the blue pipe has to go into... Oh, I see, and put them in. So I have to do this. Yep, I got this lined up right. Okay, stick these two pieces on top of each other, and then we stick this on the green going inwards. Flat green on top of the white, tall white. Tall white goes lined up with the center two studs here. I put another one of these little pipe pieces on top. And uh, there's supposed to be a black, wait. Yeah, black flat piece, where does that go? Oh, it goes directly, okay, it goes right here. See it? Do you see it? Okay, looks like all the rest of this stuff is gonna be used at once. So we got the barrel, the lids, the lid, the lid, the lid, 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 lid stop! There, that, yep, everything's getting used here. Everyone is here. Okay, that like that. That like that. This like this. So we got some weird weirdness going on right there. Put that barrel cannon right here. And then this just goes straight in. Wait, how does that work? There's no there's a plus shaped rod in there, not a uh, a hole. It works though. Now this goes right here. It like slides into place. Wait, 
Wait, no, that's not right. This is right. See, like, it just slots in right there. Epic. Alright, on to bag 10, which I believe is two bags. This is Overworld from Equinox. Never played it. Never even heard of Equinox. Close that. I don't need that open. Here's bag 10, followed by... No. Bag 10. I don't know why some bags have multiple... the same number. Like, why don't they just package this in here? There's clearly enough room for them to do that. I don't make the rules. If, if it upsets you, call John Lego. He can help you. Oh god, do you see my arm jiggle there? That was nice. Like that sound. Damn it. Always gotta be one. I almost threw this out with a pistol in it. That did not land in the garbage can. Alright, I have to pick the piece up that I dropped. Oh, there's a bag down here, too, I've completely missed. Bag 18. Good job, Michael. Alright. Arm jiggle, do it again. You weren't looking. Damn it, no. Okay. Yeah, I was doing this. And my, my arm fat is like... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a jiggle. Eesh. I did do it again. You, you saw it twice. We're not getting a third one. Here we got all sorts of rods and cones. We got some interesting pieces in here. My back is doing an itchy. Uh, there we go. For some reason when I stream, it's very common when I stream, <laughs> thank you. It's very common when I stream for my back to start itching. Probably because I'm sitting differently and my back skin is just like, this isn't normal. I'm gonna itch now. I'm going to pull the garbage can over here. So it's way easier for my, me to get my shit in there. Uh, so, this this build, we're gonna start with this piece. Okay, I'm already getting some weird shit here with these. Uh, I need two of these red gears. Red gear. Plastic gear. And I need to shove these right the hell through. <coughs> and now on this I need two. One. Okay, both sides are identical, so I could just kind of shove them in at will. But, they go- look at this. That's very deliberately placed to, uh, spin. It's- it's the double gear from Mega Man 11. Which has been almost a year since I streamed it. Oh my god. This time last year I was already streaming, uh... AI The Somnium Files, which was like... The first real return to mainstreaming that I did after taking, like, all of January off, almost. 
I remember I got the game for half off, and I was like, I'm in the mood for a new Uchikoshi game, that'll be fun. And then, uh, it was fun. It was great watching people get their eyeballs gouged out. And then as soon as I was done with that game, there was a few miscellaneous streams, and then finally, Animal Crossing. And the end of civilization as we knew it. Holy cow. And I'm not talking about Rodeo, who's still my favorite villager. Okay, I need- Whoa, look at this piece. That's wacky. That's a wacky piece right there. Okay. Connect it. I'm gonna connect that on here. back again. Shit. Okay, now I need the beige gears. I don't know why they made them beige, but they're like inverse gears. What do I... You gotta be kidding me. Okay, oh, I gotta rest them in. Alright. I was like, there's no way I could, like, fit in gears in here, but they just kind of slide in. I need the gray gear, uh, the yellow support rod. And now this whole thing goes in here. So now we got three gears turning at once, plus the gear on the inside's moving too. One of them is, at least. And now this whole thing gets plugged in like this. This side's still loose though, this gear can just pop right out. But yeah, now we got a very nice uh, mechanic going on there. This sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Evo Search for Eden, Mother Earth. Never heard, never played it. Oh, I thought I need a wacky piece, but it turns out it's just a bunch of normal pieces. Combining together to form a wacky piece. Where's this go? Oh. Okay, really cool. Alright, first sin of the night. We're connecting two of these together. Nintendo makes you commit some serious Lego crimes. Now I need one three by three, or three by three, three by one, and I, uh, okay, put that there, and then I need a one by one 
little tile that goes on top here. There we go. Now I need a piece with a hole in it, one by one. A one by one flat tile. Like yesterday I was playing a VR chat with Kuro and uh, his friends for eight hours. That's why I didn't stream yesterday. And uh, there was a lot of fun, a lot of distorted character models. Uh, it's, it's a good time. I just realized I put this on backwards. And they just kind of fit nicely at the edge there. A lot of holes in this build, like, see, like, right there. Or, no, what am I doing? Holding it way too high. Like right there. <laughs> Hotel room, Vegas Stakes. Ooh, gambling. Okay, this step is done. Page th 38 out of tw what, 240? Yep, just about. 242. Okay, now it says I have to connect this to the main piece. Um, I think we have to plug it in like this. Wait, this piece down here is still just sitting loose. Don't tell me I put the wrong rod in there before. Hold on. No. I definitely put the correct rod in there. It was the yellow one. I don't understand, though. There's no way of anything going in here. just to be safe here. We're backing up a bit. No, that rod cannot reach the other gear. There is no way. We'll figure out what that mystery gear does later. Bahamut Lagoon. Uh, Epi Episedium? Never played it. Is that the one that just got a uh, fan translation like a little while ago? Possibly? Not sure. Whoa. Okay, now I need the other beige gear as well as the long beige rod. Oh, I. Oh, okay, now it's making sense. It's making sense immediately. We have to put the beige gear... Hey, Izzy. Squack. I have to put the beige gear on top of the other one, then root it down with this. That didn't work too well. Heading to bed now. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Nessie. I love you too. <laughs> oh my god, you're, you're making me blush with that message. Have a good night, honey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, so it's a little rough, but if you turn this now, 
the gears do turn. Yes, we are indeed lovebirds. Okay, I think this is as low as it can get here. It's... It's not really holding it in place, but it's there. I'm guessing the reason there's no rod on the inner piece is because it would interfere. Sector Y from Star Fox. Never played Star Fox the original. I, I might have to stream that at some point. That, Star Fox 2, and also uh, Wild Guns or whatever it's called. Okay, now that piece isn't going anywhere. Now it's kind of blocked off in all directions. I'm assuming that axle will be very important later, as will this one on the other end. Now we need the, the blue single circle, and we put it on the bottom of the pipe. Put the pipe... wait, where are we putting that? Okay, this goes at the edge here. I wasn't expecting a waltz in Star Fox. Oh, these are brown pieces, not black. Okay, whoops. It's really hard to tell with the lighting in my room. At least I know I need them now. TV. Uh, this is Act Razor, North Wall, Create Order from Chaos. Okay, so these go like right at the edge of both of these sides without actually wedging into the edge. What edge? And now I need to complete three tires. So I need to gray into a tire. Gray into tire. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the other side because there's six of these total. And I have to connect them to the edge of each of these, uh, sides. They don't stay on very well, so I'm going to have to secure them at some point soon. And I'm going to secure them immediately. We're going to pull these two pieces, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, 12, yep. I'm just going to place them straight across. So I got little spinny tires down here. Now I need three long flat pieces. Which I can only find two. Oh, never mind. One over here. 
I need two different types of step pieces. Two of each. So I got these two, and what's the other one I need? Uh, I haven't seen that image yet. Brown ones, okay. Okay, these both line up with the other uh, ones at the edge here. Now we put these two down. Put this down. This down. We're just doing some maintenance work now. Uh, green goes on top of the uh, black pieces with the studs we just put down. These go on the corners to reinforce them. Underwater from Breath of Fire 1 by Squaresoft before I think Capcom got the license for the series. beard was looking a little unruly in that direction. Okay, next step. Take some back scratchies again. Ugh, God. Bump, ba da da bump, bump. Alright. We got one of these and one of these and we're just gonna flatten this area out over here. pieces. We're just gonna stack them on here like this? Okay. Stacking them on top now, where they were before. Two of these. Just a black brick. That's not what I need. That's not it. This is it. It's like a flat piece, but it's got a, a, like, a, like a side stud on it. Or as they refer to them in the professional uh, Lego building community, snot bricks. Studs not on top. Because that's what I want to call my Legos. Snot. And these are what I like to call, this is what I like to call piss. Pieces in separate sacks. Because they give you a bunch of sacks of pieces. See, I can make up my own fake terminology for Legos too. So we got snot bricks and we got piss sacks. What's next? I need the long rod, but the long rod with the circle at the end of it. See? And I need the gear, which goes in here. And I need one more piece, too. Oh, I see. I slide this through, and then I put in the uh, stud in the back. The washer piece to keep it from moving. A little twisty action going on there. Uh, 
Always mix up the separate bags of piss to make things a bit more difficult. Okay, let's throw that piss in the garbage. Alright, what do I need for this? Like, I can't find the piece for it. Oh, it's... The piece itself is weird. There it is. I thought I had to put pieces in this. It's got, like, separate studs, like, coming out of it. And I don't need this. I need the, I need the tube. The sleeve. Oh, this is the crank! That was that strange piece. When I finish this, this is what will be that turns the entire TV around. What is this? Jim Lee's Wildcats opening. I know this one! Starting a uh, Narsh theme from Final Fantasy VI. Bum, bu, bu, bum. I like when they said relaxing music. They didn't necessarily meant, mean happy music. Just kind of chill, ambient music because... Mmm, delicious. Alright, kitties, time to move on. Plug this in. Yeah. No? Wait, can I not push it in all the way? Hold on. Bada 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 bada. Uh oh. Well, you know what? Let's keep it as is. If I need to push it in more, I'll push it in more. I don't think it's meant to. Yeah, I think that's as far as that piece goes, because it definitely... Oh, there's a... You could clearly see, like, right in there, there's, like, a, a wall on the inside where it can't go past. Okay, never mind. We're good. I have watched two people stream this game in the last two months. Kuro streamed it, and, uh, Vinny streamed it. I dropped the entire thing. You may take all the shots now. There's my face. Enjoy it. I think I felt a piece on the floor there. I must have been imagining things. Now this piece slots into... right below where the third gear, the other gear is. Hey, another familiar song. I can't turn this now because it, the gears get jammed. Oh, look, it turns everything! You can't really see it, but... Maybe if I could secure it in the next couple seconds. Hold on. Harvest November is the name of the song. Okay, we gotta push this in fully. Now it's secure. Alright, check this shit out. Look, 
look at look at everything turning on the inside. You can see the rod turning, all the gears. That's cool. I made that. I did that. Me. I'm a big boy. I was able to do that all on my own. Okay, now this piece. There we go. That secures that tire in. Two by two. Not often you see a solid brick show up in this in this build. There we go. They're elusive, like the Tetris pieces in fusion mode of uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Okay, we're just building up. Ascending, we're ascending to a higher plane here. Okay, there we go. Nope. Yes, no, wanna stick? There we go. Oh, now we're securing the top, the upper part. We're, we're truly giving this thing an upper decker. Secured. Nutted in, rotted in, rather. Coned, rod, ball, sack, I don't know. Sin. Need the beige rod. We'll connect that in like that. Oh, we need a bunch of pieces here, actually. Oh, no! God damn! Ah. Uh. If only I had a bigger working space. Uh. This sounds familiar. I don't know what game this is from, though. This piece now connects in and just lays down. So we got a flappy lever. Terra Enigma, sad. Another game I've never actually played. I know a few people who are mildly pertubed that that's the case. Perturbed? Pertubed? I don't know. Interesting. Okay, now we need the big gear. Big gear. It just kind of connects into the center here. Nope, never mind. That was a mistake. That's supposed to go with the other gear. There we go. I wouldn't have even heard of it if it wasn't for LOLs. Yeah, he, he loves that game, I believe. Does he love the game? I think he does.
And this is the part where he'll show up in chat and say, yes, I do. Okay, that's interesting. This piece just kind of rests on it, and it, it gets caught. We'll probably be fixing that in a second. A hot second. Okay, blue on top of the green. Okay, now I make the other two tires. Tires. I mean, like, wheel pieces. The tire goes on the wheel. Okay, now I need this green bench, which I will put right in front of the second tire. And this yellow reinforcement brick, that three-sided brick, which I will put next to the uh, other tire. Thus securing all of them in place for eons to come. Okay, now we're going to get weird with it. Look, it's a... It's a, it's a sus. It's one of them that they're sus aliens. That wasn't a weird spot, by the way. It's just, like, sitting there on the inside now. Okay, now I gotta turn it... All the way around so you only see this annoying black side. Take this, this, that's interesting, and, and these. Noticing a lot less leftover pieces in these bags. The, the TV seems to not have any leftovers. Okay, now I need four of these little ramps. And they go... Why would they make me put them on afterwards? Why don't they just make me... Oh, never mind. It's because that piece was already secure from before. This is... Do Re Mi Fantasy Guardian's Lair, and before that was the library from Super Castlevania 4. Huh. Okay, now I have spare pieces, and I don't think that I'm supposed to. Interesting. There's quite a few leftovers here. Namely, I have leftover, like, big pieces. That doesn't sound right. scour over the ancient tome here for a moment. I see where I was supposed to put those in. I forgot. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back a bit here. Thankfully, it's only a couple pieces each. I have to go back.
I just have to remove these. And these four are, are uh, left over. These three are left over. Let me retrieve the one that fell. Wait, are there two pieces down there? I think there are. Five leftover pieces. Uh, the leftover bag is in the white box. Let me go get it real quick. This is the leftover bag. Actually, I should get the block rem brick remover out because I need that. Ugh, it's hard to stretch for a minute. It's so cute. What, the Lego? The Lego is either cute. A sip of water. Hey everyone, it's me, Michael. Alright, time to move on to bag 11. First try. Here we go, wait. Here we go, some ASMR. We're gonna need small pieces from the beginning, so we might as well just tear this one open. Illusion of Gaia World Map. That's another game I've been uh, told to play at some point. Wow, we got a lot of, like, just solid bricks here. Very unusual. Oh, these have holes in the middle, though. That's interesting. Feels like this bag's gonna go very quickly compared to the other ones. It sounds like the uh, guitar messed up there. B -b Bing. Oh, this whole piece just goes straight in here. Starting on here and going all the way. Nope, other way around. There we go. Okay, brown bricks on top of each other, and they go 
right there. Again, can't see it because the book keeps getting in the way. This piece uh, goes down here. A lot of fun. Uh, and in the end, that's all that matters. Okay, these long bricks. Which again, br mostly brown, so you can't see them that well. Kind of like a little wall there. This is Frosty Frolics from DKC3, which a game I've never played. I've only played two Donkey Kong Country games, the original and uh, Returns. I've never played two, three, or uh, Tropical Freeze, so might be something to consider for the future as well. I need this piece, which has, which looks solid, but then in the back, oh, it's hollowed out. It's like one of those bricks from the Sandbird in Mario, uh, Mario Sunshine, where it's like a sand block on the top and on the bottom it looks like a waffle pattern. Really interesting. I say something's really interesting often, which... I don't know how true that is, honestly. Okay, wait a minute. I need to take a look at this. Okay, it's a... It's a I need a snot brick for this one. That's why they have these weird uh, amounts here. I need this brick with the stud on the side. Right? Okay, so I have to put this brick down with the hole in the middle, but there is nothing for that, nothing to go into that hole at all. Like, nothing can possibly go on that side. That's really weird. Why would they do that? Rain roll, generous hermit from Arcana. Two three by th uh, twos, and one one by one uh, three. Why can't I see numbers right? Sin. Sin. Sinning. Oh, now I gotta combine multiples of these little tiny ones. Eh. I dropped my brick separator, and my headphones are getting caught. Not fun. <coughs> oh. oh boy. Alright, well we're up to step 100. That's uh, something. Got a 
good looking uh thing here. Not bad. Now I need one of those window pieces like this. We had a bunch of those in the last build. And I just kinda layer them on. Like so. Chaos Seed Cave. Oh, the, the cable for this camera kind of pops out a little bit. Thankfully, it's supposed to do that. Okay, now where does this go? Turn around, place it down. Lines up perfectly. Starting to come together. Look, this is like the, the thing where the plug for the TV comes out. Okay, we've made a wall with a little nudge coming out of it. A little, little rampy, which goes down uh, right here. Yes, it just goes on the edge. Again, things just kind of fit into place. Nine, I need the long piece, which just straight up goes... Wait a minute, what? Oh yeah, it just does, it just floats, okay. So that goes up here, it makes like a, a bridge kind of across. A little carrying handle which will fall off immediately. And two of the flat pieces. And I need two of this reverse staircases with the ramp on the top, where it's like a ramp with, with like little climbable bricks on the bottom. These overhang kind of here here and these connect at the very end here it's kind of a weird gap there though is that intentional hold on I think it is I think that's intentional just a tiny gap Not bad. Now, these. I 
Yeah, I apologize for the yawning. I'm not sleepy. I'm just, uh... Weekends are always exhausting. Streaming's exhausting sometimes, honestly. Having fun is, is exhausting. I'm just saying, I don't like fun. Now we do the opposite on the other side. Install the tall brick, install the sandbird brick. The Andy Sandbird. This is a fortune teller from Ogre Battle, March of the Black Queen. See where these pieces go at all. Uh, oh, they go at the top. Never mind. Okay, this next one pretty much uses everything remaining. See where that's supposed to go. Okay. Okay, some interesting stuff happening over here. Not sure what it is yet, though. Okay, end of bag 11. Four leftover pieces. Ugh, all right. Get up again. Grab bag 12, and I'm gonna give myself a back scratch. Oh, you didn't see that. Uh, give myself a back scratch here. This is uh, the Winter's Snowboard House theme from Earthbound. Speaking of, I could show off this now. So this is the other thing I got from Fan Gamer uh, this past week. They were selling, they're selling a full vinyl release of the Mother One soundtrack, the good lyrical one. So I got that. Um, I didn't realize they were selling it. It is like a reproduction of it, officially licensed, so it is like a real deal. Uh, it's obviously not the old print from the early 90s though. It's got this, and it's got, like, nice rose-colored, uh, discs. Two discs. It's, it's four si uh, two double-sided discs. Uh, really neat collector's item. I think, uh, at some point I'm gonna get, like, a record, uh, frame for it. Where, like, you put the album and the two, uh, discs, like, displayed in it. Those are very expensive, though, apparently. <laughs> so, might not be happening anytime soon, but hey, I, I don't usually collect vinyls, but that was... 
a rare exception because I know it's a, um, I'm looking at the preview. I'm like, why am I, whatever. <laughs> it's a rare exception just because it's such a nice collector's item for such a, for such a, a, a piece of history like that. Anyway, time to move on to bag number 12. Now, I got confused because I thought I was looking at the stream preview, which isn't caught up. So I was like, wait, why is this in sync? But, uh, it is not in sync. I was actually looking at my OBS preview, which I normally do. Alright, we're going to start by building some towers after I scratch my back again, because, oh my god, I'm itchy. Actually, you know what? Probably should take some water too. Too, this is a good time to take a break. If you'll notice my uh, my Switch collection over in the corner of the vision there, uh, on top of that. First off, that collection, it's that's getting too big. I need to remove it because it's blocking the TV, which is right next to it. So I can't see the TV fully anymore. Anyway, I have a new box on top of there for uh, Mario 3D World because I got it physically. I figured my brother might want to play it, so why not? This is a, a wacky looking piece. Look at that. All right, so we need four of these like monolith pieces and four of these squares with the one stud in the middle. Repeat the process on the other side. That's brown. I don't need that one. I need the black one. Do not commit build crimes, please. You know this weekend's over already? What a fucking downer. Really tired of my job. Uh, I need it. Okay, there it is. So we got towers and studs. Towers and studs. Yo, we got all sorts of towers, all sorts of studs. Rudra no Hiho, Crime of the Heart. Never heard of that game. Some wacky hairstyles going on in that box art, though. having trouble finding this last piece I need for this step. My call off tomorrow because of the weather, you're not sure yet. Yeah, unfortunately I don't really have that luxury because I have the luxury of working from home. I'm just so stressed out by my job though. I'm, I need some time off. I really do. Two days isn't cutting it. I need two days off plus a day to like decompress afterwards where I just lay in bed all day. A 
Okay, I can't find this other piece for this. I need another monolith piece. Okay, where the hell is this? I'm getting legit frustrated now. There it is. Had to dump the bag out a little earlier than I wanted to. I'm sorry, how many of these? I need 24 of these for the next step. They're like blue. You can't really see them. This camera doesn't. Yeah, there we go. And I need 12 4 by 1 flat pieces. So I'm pretty much gathering all of them at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. Nope. Don't roll away, green piece. And I also need two 2x4 two flat pieces. And four 2x1 two flat pieces with a single stud on the top. And I have located them all. Okay. Alright, so you cannot see any of it because it's black. And I have a black table. But uh, we are about to... Actually, let me see if I can light it up a bit. What the hell? So yeah, you can see. There's like a, just a pile of black... A pile of black pieces here. Whoa, okay, that's a little too bright. There you go. It actually makes it a little easier to see, but it's, again, I can't really position this in a spot where uh, you can see it that well. I have like a phantom notification that I can't find on here. Oh, never mind. It was a it was another suggested tweet, like the other day, where I was getting uh, notifications from Matt Mercer. When I was like, I don't follow Matt Mercer. I don't think I do. Whew. Okay. Okay, so it just says repeat five times.
Okay, so it's three. Four. Oh wait, that's five, because I already put one on there. Got it. We need six of them total. Now, on top of that, we put two of the single stud flat pieces. And then we put in a flat piece on top of the single stud. So we got this little weird uh, thing going on here. And I'm sure that this is, uh, yep, and the whole thing says 2x. So I got to do it again on the other side for the rest of them. That's cool. Okay, now we got two of them. If I turn them upside down, I could kind of like do this thing where they they kind of just slot into each other. But they both go to separate places. They go right smack dab in the middle of these to line everything up perfectly. Semi sin because it's a non standard piece, but we're going to be going into sin mode there. These pieces aren't very secure, though. They're going to need to be battened down. This big stabby boy. As well as this one. Oh, I missed a, uh, a step in that last one. I was supposed to put a two by two flat piece on top of that thing. Uh-oh, I dropped a piece because I need another green pipe and it's not here. Panels, uh, they gotta go in right at the edge, not at the edge, one space away. Because I need, uh, there's a one by one by like six. I don't know how many studs tall this is, but it's, uh, I think it's like six studs tall, five studs tall. One, two, three, four, f it's, I think it's five.
Yep, five studs. Starting to come together. It's looking like a real box now. Okay, but I need that green piece before we go any further. Let's take a second. This is Paladin's Quest Unknown Dean B. Where could that missing piece be? I am not- I am none too happy about losing this. Ooh! There it is. It's like, as soon as I start looking, I find them immediately. Just wish they wouldn't fall off in the first place. Next, we need step one, two, three. We got a double. We got a double sin here. Had to do that, but this has a hook on the end, so it is an understandable sin. Oh shit! It's the opening of Stranger Things. That would have been bad. My hand slipped right there. Piece did not go in properly. That would have shattered a, a considerable amount of the build there if that happened. Big piece. Meet green pieces. So I need to put all three of these ramp pieces down one spot from the edge. Nope, I see that piece moving over there. Get back here. No breaks on my watch. Unless we're talking about my pocket rot pocket watch pocket watch because that thing is uh absolutely broken. I need a nice new one. One, three, two, and one. Oh, and I need this as well. I these instructions are really hard to see. Okay, so three, and then two, and then three.
I pretty much made this wall that I'm now going to just click onto here. And now I'm going to rinse and repeat for the other side, just backwards. Mirror it! Sounds familiar. I heard this recently. No, never mind. Bassin's Black Bass. Pro Fishing Series. With fishing legend Hank Parker. Wow. One twenty nine. Okay, I need this piece. Wait, no, I don't. No, yes, I do. This piece, this piece, this piece, nope, this piece, and I need a piece that's not in a, in bag 12. I need the piece that's been sitting loose since the beginning, the gray tube. So we fix this to the end. Okay, we put the flat bit on the tiny bit, and now we put it on here. This is A Wish from Secret of Mana, a game that I have not touched in some time at this point. And it goes, okay, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the wrong thing again. And this goes right in here. Fellas, we got reception. Oh, I see. And this clip over here? Bam. Stays right in there, nice and tight. Alright. These last two bits are extra. This is Memories from Breath of Fire 2. Okay, time to move on to bag 13. Oh, this goes up to bag 21. Oh, you're not even halfway done. And I think this step, we're going to need our buddy, the sticker. Step 13 is... Oh my god, wait a minute. This can't be right. This does not have the pieces for that. We can't be doing the panels already. Maybe there's a second bag 13 that I missed. No, that's 19. Boom, 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 bleep. Boom, 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 bleep. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry. I'm sorry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pieces. That's weird. It is the right amount, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What do you know? What do you say? What do you say? What do you know? And I just gotta put six of these down. They're ramp pieces. Oh, this is uh this that is not the same ramp. 
Here we go. Oh, now I need that piece that I just found. So it's like a double, it's like a, it's like a pyramid, almost. What, two flat sides? Mario World didn't have the fish that could eat you, right? That was Big Bertha. She was in Mario 3. Super Mario World just had the relentless, the relentless fish that would chase you everywhere. Ah, no. Okay, a lot of symmetrical. A lot of symmetrical. Starting to come together, sides are all slidey. Ooh, this song is uh, ominous sounding. It is Menu from Waterworld, based on the hit uh, movie that went out to, uh, you know, dethrone Mad Max. Also, the game was made by Ocean, which I find very, very coincidental and neat that a game based on the movie Waterworld was made by Ocean. Okay, I think this is too long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 6, 6, 14, nope, it's the right length. It's the right length. Okay. We need two of these boards. Oh, we actually need two of these, uh... Because I'm gonna be doing this now. We have to bust open the small one. Built. We got this built. This pack. This pack. We have just hit the two hour mark on this stream.
This is Lost in the Forest from Romancing Saga. Another series I've never really touched. Next, I need 12 of these little black rates, and I'm just gonna pepper them around the sides a bit. Like so. See? You can barely see it, but there it is. I'm gonna be peppering them out. Landed on my leg, didn't- doesn't count as dropped. Flat bits. Now the big uh, flat, big square flat bit. It's the back panel. Now we get to use the sticker. AKA, don't fuck it up. There we go. There we go. Text. Try reading that on stream. Look at that. Why isn't this camera like focus? I, I, I think it doesn't work with OBS properly. Low tech one three one zero color TV receive color TV receiver. Why can't I say the word receiver? It has a model and a serial number, a bunch of other cut stuff. Aspect ratio sixteen by fourteen, six and a half inches. RMS point two seven amps. DC nine volt nine kilohertz nine hertz rather. And that's got a bunch of white lines and random numbers. Neat. And that just kind of connects to this whole deal right here. That's backwards. Whoops. Well, I can just pop out this piece in the middle and flip it around. There we go. So that's the entire back of the TV. And that sits on the back of this right here. Somehow. Wait, what? Uh, the what now? Oh, I see. You plug it in like this. Okay. I mean, it looks like a TV from the back. You got the the antenna and everything. Except most TVs aren't crank operated. Okay, I need one of these long rods. And just shove it right down the middle. It's actually a double sided piece, it's the same on both sides.
Bum, 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 bum. Reinforced frame. Super reinforced frame. I'm guessing on the other end, uh, yep. We shove in the other two support rods and then put in the other wheels. Okay, uh, let's do those one at a time. <laughs> Try not to be fancy about it. Okay, now there's a, a right, a yes and a no here. I'm not sure what that means. Uh... Oh, okay. It's they got to be lined up properly. Yep. Yes. I get. I mean. Oh, you know what? No, it's possible to not line them up properly, because the pl the the pluses on the on these. Two of them match up with studs, while the other two match up with grooves, and we don't want that. We want them to all be symmetrical. Thankfully, uh, I pulled that off unintentionally. It's like a car. Uh, except that we're not done. This is going to use multiple bags, isn't it? Alright. One spare piece. Bag 14. Look at- oh my god, look at this bag. It's all the same color pieces, holy shit. I think it's all the same piece, I think it's just one piece in there. We did it, we found the one piece. Step 152 requires 60 of these, 30 times 2. Okay then. Eyeballing it it is. These are the treads that the uh, the panels move on. So how does this work? Oh, so each piece has a link part and a, and a and a rod part. So what you do is you just click them in, and there you go. Loosey goosey. Gotta do that 59 more times. This is Forest theme from Tales of Fantasia. Alright, so this is gonna be pretty mindless here. It's fascinating, really. Like, it, it's such a radical departure from how Legos would normally work. It's just like, oh, well, I'm just looking at these and working off, like, a mindless, repetitive action. It would be boring, but it's like, yeah, whatever. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This kind of pinches my hand. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, it's like, it's like knitting a quilt, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So if you couldn't guess, this is what's going to go around and the uh, the rods on the inside and it's going to make the oh no it's going to make the uh the spinning diorama this is deep blue from lufia 2 hey that rhymes all right fingers do your thing Five, six, seven, seven, eight. Yeah, it's like a tank. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, God, my finger. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I dropped at least one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty, twenty-nine. Yeah, I dropped one. Ugh. I thought I saved them all, but one fell somewhere. It was 30 and 30. Where is the elusive last one? Where could it have fallen? I don't see it anywhere. There it is. It did indeed fall. Take a shot for that. Ugh. Beautiful. Ready to go to war with these treads. Bag 15. All right, we're getting a lot of pieces that we have to like have ready to go beforehand because this is a very big um, part of the build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
1, 16, 20, 19, 17, 16. Okay. We're on bag 15. There's two 16s. There's 15. Is that also 15? No. That's 20. Okay. Bag 15. I see a lot of, a lot of weird uh, thingies in this one. Let me move... Like, let's put this... Uh, I'm just going to move these off because I think we're not going to be touching them again for a bit. So we don't need them just lying around here. Whoop. Actually, no, I need the treads. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, 15. We are going to need every piece in here, because it's one one build. So let's start, uh, we have to do this 15 times. Uh, I need two of these to start. One of these. I'm gonna connect them three and three. Now we have to take these, these weird pieces with, that have like stilts on them. And going upside down, we attach them to the left and right of the white piece. Then we take one of the two of these and slot them into the studs sticking out. Awesome. Now to repeat this 14 times. Holy Jesus. Uh, what is this song from? This is from Chrono Trigger. This is the 1000 AD world map. The home, the home world world map. Like the starting area of the game. It is quite good. Yasunori Mitsuda, great composer. Best of his kind. Six, nine, ten. This is Super Metroid. Four, eight, twelve, fourteen. Okay, so that's all of them. Now I can move on to step two of all of them.
that's a game I would consider streaming. I've already beaten it before, but I mean, it's Super Metroid. That game is so good. Not my favorite. Zero Mission is still my favorite, and I've never played any of the Prime games, but if that Prime trilogy on Switch happens, I'll definitely be streaming that. I've streamed Zero Mission several times. I, uh... I used to... What I used to do was every January... Uh, I would do quick runs of it for a few years. Usually during AGDQ. I also streamed that a couple times before I started streaming regularly. I was just like, you know what? I feel like doing a Metroid Zero Mission run on stream tonight. That was back before streaming was a thing for me, really. Then my laptop broke. Nope, didn't drop it. Pretty excruciating, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> very repetitive and lots of, uh, lots of very small pieces to attach. Robotrek, the world of Quintenix. Quintenix. Another great RPG from Enix. That's what it says in the box. You know, Enix was the one who bought Square, was not the other way around. Everyone's like, oh, well, Enix did badly, so they were bought by Square. It's like, no, Square was doing badly. When they made Final Fantasy IX, okay, this is just falling apart. Why isn't this piece going on? Um... When they were making Final Fantasy IX, they weren't doing too hot. In fact, they lost a lot of their computers with all that stuff on it, which is why making a remastered version of it was so difficult. Enix bought them and then used the name recognition. The only Enix game I own is Mischief Makers. And even that's not actually Enix, they just published it. I believe Treasure actually made that game. Finished! Holy shit. Alright. That's a lot of rods. And this is... Violinist of Hamelin. Hamelm. Inside the Crimson Castle. What is this game? This is another Enix game. Does this have a fan translation? Because it looks really cool. The main character has a giant violin, which I guess would be a guitar, but whatever. Uh, and that sounds like something I'd be interested in looking into, since I myself played the violin. Alright, finally flipping this. Uh, what are we doing? We're, we're connecting these treads together. Going by the up part. Okay, wait a minute. How do we do this? Okay, it just kind of slots in to the to the thing, and then I gotta put the other one down there. And then we skip one and do the next one. So 
So I got them in. They're hanging. They're hanging chads now. Uh, properly, and then we just do every other one until we reach the end. These don't go in easy, but I guess they're supposed to be flexible, so they they kind of have to be a little be a little noodly here. Damn it. Last one broke on me. Okay. There we go, though. A beautiful giant tank tread. Okay, now. Time to move on to bag 16. That's 20. There's 16. I think. There might be another one, 16. Let me take a quick peek and see. <laughs> yes, there is. There's two bag 16s. Oh, we're gonna have to build both of them. Alright, water time. <clears throat> There's enough screwing around, guys. Come on. Part 16. Building another layer. Another, 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 another. Alright, so for this part, I just need a single long boy. I don't think I need to open both of these at the same time. Damn it, I am running. You know what? I'm going to move the whole TV unit off the building area. It's because it's clear that the treads have to take priority right now. So let's move the treads over here. And dump this sucker out. I believe a lot of these are going to be repetitive, but there's going to be a few that are very uniquely stand out. Like, they very much stand out in an interesting way for a very specific reason that I can't explain just yet.
That is a mana song. I don't know which one, but it definitely is. Yep, Breezen from Saken Densets 3, otherwise known as Trials of Mana. Wilds of Mana. Kevin's big day out. Okay, so I need to put this in the middle, like so. Now I need to get four of these. They're two by two flat pieces, but they have a stud on the bottom of them. Now this one uses this piece on the edge, like this, and then I put this flat yellow piece here. So this, so these, only a few of these rails for this part are gonna have these pieces at the end, and they're there for a very specific reason, which I can't show off, unfortunately. Um, I might as well just say it now then. Uh, so if you had the Lego Mario, what, what happens is when this is sliding around in the TV, when these spots go underneath Mario, it changes the music and the uh, sound effects that play, which is really cool, and I wish there was a way to just get the Lego Mario figure separate without having to uh, buy the entire starter set, but there isn't, unfortunately. Also, we need two of these black uh, things underneath, and now this just slots in at the very end. So this is going to be filling in the rest of the spots here, essentially, the rest of these circles that and then this this part stays at the top and when it slides around Mario would scan it but anyway next one four of these one two three four same thing just without the edge part part so it's yellow piece in the middle two whites two whites and then they just slot into the next uh, spot on the Oh, no, we're going on the opposite end. Well, sort of. We're doing one on three on one end, one on the other. Okay. So we're just doing this, and then we're setting it in to the slots here. Okay, so we got the three on the end filled, and the two on the other end filled. This wants to connect in. There we go. Now I'm guessing we're going to be doing, yep. Oh, two of these, two of the blue ones, okay. So it's essentially the same thing, just we're going to add the blue. We're going to do the steps to add in the blue pieces at the end for two of them. So 
So we have to do this twice. I did put the black tread piece on the other three. I'm a dummy. All right. I'm going to have to extract these and fix that. Thankfully, they're not too hard to get back off. You could tell too because they're not set in they're set in further than the uh one with the panel on it. See? The, these two are a little deeper than that one, which is level with it. Calm Time from Star Ocean. That's another game I started and then never finished. I've never played... St I I've started Star Ocean 1 and then never finished it. Ah, uh, this is going over great. Uh, great! Real bricksmith here. Oh. That took way longer than it should have. Getting a little hot. two blue ones, and we put those in the next two slots, left and right. more about built by now no I've only two I'm only two and a half hours into this oh wait no but you you can't see the rest of it 
No, 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 no. I've got this much built. Yeah, pretty much the entire inside. Well, most of it. Back's good. Got the sticker on it. Also, hey, Celine, how you doing? I also have this piece, which I'm assuming this, this whole tread is going to attach to it at some point. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing as before, but with green. I kind of wish I didn't already play this on the Switch Online app, because I would have streamed it. But you know what? I have enough things to stream already. I'm going to stream 2 and 3 at some point. This requires the green. Okay. Made some tuna mac and cheese for breakfast. Oh, man. I wish I had mac and cheese. I, I keep forgetting to do that, to try tuna mac and cheese. I have tuna. Now for two more. Oh, I need two more, but these are going to be red. Okay. Add the fish after you drain the noodles and before you add the cheese powder and sauce. Got it. Red. Okay. Let's connect them in. Sometimes if you just press down, they go in. Alright, now, four more of the rain one, main ones, and then we're going to have one more colored one after that. This is Fortune Teller 2 from Tactics Ogre. Let us cling together. Let's make the orange one. The rest of this bag are just orange and are white and blacks, so we know exactly what we're doing. end screen from Mario RPG. Okay, there we go. All them put together, except for the white one, or passed out around 11 a.m. Nice. I went to bed, I usually go to bed around 5. I was up till 3 playing VR chat. I was playing VR chat for like 7 hours last night. Okay, one in the middle. 
or one on the right rather, or just go on the left. Orange goes one spot there. And ta-da! The, the backdrop is complete. Got all the special trigger blocks set up, which again, can't show them off because I don't have the Lego Mario figurine, but if I did, you'd be able to see and hear some cool stuff whenever he passed over one of these colored bricks. Uh, if I ever get it, maybe I'll show it off. Maybe I'll just look up a video. Or you can just look up a video yourself. Now it's time to actually start building the diorama, which is really cool. Uh, so let's get block 17. Whoa. Bag 17. <laughs> you, th you thought my shirt said battle poutine? That'd be funny, actually. Just wait. Yeah. Yeah, battle poutine set. Okay, so this build, so this bag is gonna be fun. Look at these pieces, one by ones everywhere. And we have to start off by making five of a of a thing. Holy hell, it's gonna be so easy to lose any of these. Look, it's like little dust, reduced to atoms. Like Thanos. So what I have to do is take one of these and cover them in one by ones. Which is harder than you'd think because now they could be slightly tilted and not look right and... Uh... This is going to be a bit of a pain, but it'll be worth it. So essentially we want to do that five times. And start stacking them from right to left, bottom to bottom. <laughs> we don't want to put anything on the black pieces, because this is where that's where the joints are. Or actually, I don't know, maybe we do have to put stuff on the black... No, I think we do that separately. Anything that goes on the black bits, we don't want crossing over to the other bits. Music's actually perfect for this part. Oh nice, another good Mario song. The opening to Yoshi's Island. This is gonna hurt my little fingies by the time I'm done with this. Now we do the same thing, but on one by threes instead of two by threes. So these are gonna go on the black spots in the middle. So we do that and just place it between them. Okay. Someone started firing off fireworks. Oh, interesting. Oh, President's Day. I. Really? They set fireworks off on President's Day? Man, they must really like Valentine's Day.
One. You got it. Two. You got it. Three. Four. Nope, I gotta put one at the end. Alright, now I have to take the blue one for the next segment, put it straight on here, and then take a blue and a two blue and put them on top of each other, like that. Alright, now I have to do two more one by threes. Ah, oh, they didn't do the second part. They didn't wind, do the wind up. I was gonna grab the TV and turn the crank to, to in time with that. Okay, so they want me to leave a gap there. And they want me to do two more, uh, two wides. This is Tetris Attack. Uh, I forget whose theme this is. Lungefish? It's the lake theme. The frog theme. It's the frog theme. Waterworld, yep. Now, we need two of the following. Wait, what? Hold up. Oh, okay. I see the water's split over two. I mean, the blue part is split over two, uh, over a gap, uh, a, a thing, so I kind of have to make it a one by two one by ones rather than a two by two. Otherwise, it won't scroll correctly. One by three. And now I have to do seven more one by threes. Oh, God. I have five of them here. Oh, there's one, two. Okay, there we go. Essentially, I have to pepper these down through, uh, through the rest of the black spots. You know what AFOL is, right? Uh, no, what is that? I might know it, I just don't remember what it stands for. Adult fan of LEGO. I mean... That's what the set is made for. It says right in the box, 18+. plus. <laughs> this is not for kids. I'm all I'm I'm aware of a lot of the Lego acronyms. Uh snot st studs not on top as well as piss. Uh pieces in separate sacks, which is what I call this project. 
I also just made that one up. Beep, 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 beep. I've actually delved into some Lego YouTube a few months ago. That's what made me want to get this initially. And I was like, well, if I get a webcam, I could stream it. Apparently, 1x5 is a full jargon for a partner interested in Lego because the company doesn't make 1x5 pieces. Interesting. Yeah, they tend not to do um, odd numbers after three. It's like one and three are fine. Anything above that, it's like, you, okay, use a three and a two. We can't make you a five stud piece. Alright, and all seven of them are built. Now I just pepper them out throughout the rest of the black spots, and we're all good. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So is holding a basically a music player track? Yes, more or less. It's a diorama. Emphasis on the word die because I'm gonna die putting this together. Oh my god. I have to do six more of these two by fours or two by threes. I have to stick a stud or a flat piece on every single stud. This is kind of torturous. I don't know why they wouldn't just give you special texture pieces for this. Nice. Opening deem to Secret of Mana. <whistles> just like building gunplay, you gotta get into the zen. Yeah. Though this, I mean, these hurt. This is hurting my thumbs, doing this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a blister for days. And also, these one-by-one -one tiles don't line up properly. You have to, like, manually adjust them. This is the uh, good night music from SimCity. SimCity NES. You, and the, the, it's one of those weird games where if you choose to quit, it brings you to a screen where it's like, okay, turn off the console, and you literally can't do anything but turn it off or hit the reset button. Earthbound is another rare example of that, where the father will tell you, okay, shut this console off, and you just kind of soft lock on that screen until you shut it off. set them in. is left over. Alright, time for bag 18, which contains many, many blue pieces. Yeah, 
19, 20, 21. We're almost done! This is pretty much the end of it. Once this is all in, it's just kind of building the front of the TV, and that's it. This is actually a quicker build than, uh... Than the, than the NES. I thought the TV was the longer one. I mean, I've still got... So far, I'm at three hours today, with eight hours total, so... Even if this takes another hour to finish, that's still nine hours I got out of this fucking Lego kit. That's pretty damn impressive. So, blue. This may be a dumb question, but do you still have that cross fusion action figure I sent you years ago? Cross fusion action figure? I don't think I ever got that. I don't think you ever sent that to me. I, I would remember having that, because I would have it displayed in my room. Ah, no! Sent the chips? I don't know. You sent me the AMV discs that you made. I didn't, um... I don't think you ever sent me any of the figures or anything. Ugh. The only Battle Network figure I have is a, a Searchman Gotcha, or, uh, UFO... Not UFO... Searchman, um, something or other, but, uh, that broke. Also, I have hit the end of, uh, this video, so let's uh, load up three more hours of relaxing Super Nintendo music. This is, uh, Dual Orb 2, Peaceful Village. Okay, now we're going to be doing this panel by panel, because this is where it starts differentiating constantly. We're going to be having a lot of little, little bits here. Look, it's a pizza. Pizza! So first step, we need a gray piece to put at the very top. Okay, interesting. And then we do blue five down, two by twos. Then we do a one by one blue in the upper left corner of the next spot, and then three light green one-by-ones. There's dark green in here, too. So you got that, going from top to bottom. Used to have a Heat Guts and a Land Hub cross fusion. I know I gifted the Heat Gub and a Heat Guts and a Clearion Metar to Roam Mithril, and I could have swore I sent the other figures your way. I don't think you did. I think you... Hmm... I seem to remember wanting it, but I don't think I ever accepted it. I don't know. Maybe you- may, do, are you sure you don't have them still? Also, excuse me. I have to scratch. There we go. Okay, there we go. You motherfucker. Alright, we need a lot of pieces for this one, including a one-by-one -one piece with a stud on it. Interesting. Oh, it's like purposely blurring out the parts I've already done. No, I don't have any more. Don't worry about it. All right. So again, it's got to keep with the theme of not building across the the gray and black parts. They have to be separate. I don't know why I need a stud sticking out there though. That's interesting. Boop 
Okay, need four blues here. Ooh, this is some uh, vibrations. Mario Paint, BGM3. This is ambience. Okay, now I need stud pieces again, okay. And again, no fives, no, no, no one by five, so I have to use a one by one and a one by four. I recently posted a picture of the SNES massively found at his parents' place. Things just as yellowed as badly as the SNES. Yeah, it's made the same material, so any exposure to, like, oxygen just completely fucks it. Two by two. And then blue all the way up. All the way up. Nothing could stop me. The old analog mouse had a ball you had to clean up, yeah. Kids these days will never understand having to hard boil an egg to make the ball to put in there. You have to hard you have to hard boil the egg, then you have to peel it correctly, you have to get rid of all the white part, take the yolk, harden it, and then there you go. You got you got the mouse ball. Okay, see, it's kind of like it's graying. It's like graying out what I've done and telling me the next piece. So I just have to keep following it until I've uh, used up every bit. the top row is all gray pieces for some reason. Hey, some baguette guy. How you doing today? Doing good? Cool, cool. Can't really see it that well because the book's in the way here. I'm doing pretty good, just uh, building some Legos. <laughs> building the NES. I know what these studs are for. You put the, uh, you're gonna put objects on them later. Actually got a Valentine this year, so you're happy. Oh, that's nice. That's great to hear that. It's always good. Always good to have someone who cares about you.
Thankfully, this, these treads are surprisingly sturdy, so I could kind of press down on them without doing much damage. Otherwise, I'm sure what they would have done was make you build each piece completely before setting it in here. Lego tested that shit. They stress tested it. What is this from? Oh, another Waterworld song. Diving. Again, the sheer, um, the sheer satisfaction of having a game based on the movie Waterworld being made by the company Ocean. Like, they, they had to be like, yes, my, our time has come. Okay, we're gonna be doing the next five slots now. They, it ends with a two, a three, uh, green hill thing at the bottom here. Excuse me, sorry about that. Chinese is starting to uh to emerge. It's emerging. Oh, it's emerging. Hitting a bit of a stride now. But I used the wrong pieces. Hold on. In a spot earlier. Extract it. So you finally got to see me use the extractor tool. Nice. Yeah, the dark brown bits are not visible on the front. They're all studs. There's no flat bits for them. The light brown bits are the ones that I have to use on the front. Actually, no, there's dark brown bits. You know what? Build. Build's alright. Music is so good. Is the Waterworld game actually a decent game or is this music misleading me? Oh, you can't even see it. We're getting there. I think this might be it for this bag, though, because, uh,. It's definitely, we're halfway through and I'm out of gray bricks, so. No more indicator of how far I'm, I've got to go with this one. Ocean was never a stellar name in the industry. I think they almost exclusively handle movie tie-in titles, yeah. They must have been so happy to get the Waterworld <laughs> license. 
Guys, it's what we named ourselves for. Waterworld. It's our it's our game. Hmm. Okay. There. Uh. I am one blue tile short here. Hold on. Did I drop it? I think I dropped it. How though? I was extremely careful with this one. That's gonna annoy me. Did I miss up somewhere? Did I miss up somewhere? Hmm. Cannibalize one of the pieces behind you. What are you talking about? Oh, those? Wait, you mean those back there? No, that's the wrong color. I want to see if I missed a stud somewhere. No, I definitely didn't. That's annoying. Alright, let me move on for a bit. Okay, so we gotta start putting in colors now. Special pieces, look. Little question mark blocks. Adorable. Koopa Troopa. Just a shell. That's a question mark. We don't want that there. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This song is... Itovo Monogatari, Itovo City, or Itovo City. E wait, no. Ihatovo, there we go. Ihatobo City. Oh, this is Goomba. These are so weird, these are like smaller than a single stud. Coin. 
mushroom, which looks like a pizza slice. That's it? Really? Oh, wait, no. Wait. Wait, no. Hold on, what? Oh, I see. I have to put the one stud blocks on the uh, edge here. On the, uh, on the steps. But up, up, but up, up, up. Same thing on the other steps here. Okay. So give you an extra question mark block and an extra mushroom piece. And I think an extra coin as well. Yep. wrong color. This is getting quite hefty. I just, I'm not happy about that missing piece. One, there's a one by one in here, but that's not enough. Mm. Definitely no piece down there. There it is, I see it. It's on the floor. Take a shot. I dropped it. Looking good. Now it looks like shit. Now it looks great. Time for bag 19. Woo. That's 20. There's two 20s. Why label them separately? I don't know if I need these pieces or not going forward. I'm going to actually keep those on hand until I get through the uh, diorama completely. Because the next one's supposed to be the last one for this part. 20 and 21 are going to be the rest of the TV, probably. Stars, literally. Start with these. Da, 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 da. If you like Link to the Past, you should watch Kuro's, uh, streams on Wednesday. He does a um, multi-world randomizer with his friends.
Dun 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 Too early for that one. Whoops. Back it up. Back it up, mofo. really hard to watch me do because these are all like one by one bits so it's like you can't really see me putting them in you just have to trust my judgment stuff up there. Okay. So I need two of these, but one of them's gonna go sideways onto a two. This sounds like a mana song. Don't know if it is, though. Song is really good at helping you fall asleep. Oh, that's nice. Nope, this is Bahamut Lagoon. Friendship. Another Square Enix title. They are a monster in the box. The same reason people put snakes in their drawers. Yes. Snakes in their dressers, not drawers. That was it. some serious brick right now. Okay, we're getting closer to the edge. Nothing pushes me over it. <gasps> Wait, nine by... Oh, okay, they're making me do this part now. Interesting. Wait, are they? Hold on. Yeah, they are. That's weird. They're making me fill in the hill. hill filled in nice and bumpy now we get to do the uh the next part i wonder why they made me do that part there that's really weird this is birthplace of all life from evo search for eden the time has come incredible 12 megs an action-packed prehistoric adventure game spread out over 4.6 billion years See, they were doing evolution back then before it was cool. Checkmate creationists.
Okay, I need a blue stud on here. Yep. Then three blue plates. Okay, my one by one gray for the top. My two by one gray for the other top. And I need another one by one gray after that. I need a white, actually, here. Okay, interesting. Shit! Oh. At least I saw where that landed. Peace overboard. Glitch in the system. I need a three by three. I've never seen a a three stud uh, plate before like that. Like a flat plate that's only one by one by one by one. I don't know how to properly say that. It's missing a corner. Okay, we're good on that one. Moving on. When are we getting Lego Tetris? When's that happening? You build the model and it just disappears. Okay, this this is an easy one. It's just flat plates all the way down. Plates. Getting in the zone now. And then I got one blue plate and I need a green stud piece. Okay. One more, two more, uh, four more spots to go. And unsurprisingly, uses all the gray pieces. But we got some stuff here. Uh huh. Blue all the way down, aside from the very bottom, on the far left, okay. Oh, this is the part where it connects to the other side, so I'm gonna have something designed that loops into it. It loops, zoops right into it. Okay, now I need a one by one. Now I need a one by one light green. Next to it, I need the 2x2 two two green stud piece. And next to that, I need a 2x1 plate. In fact, it's plates all the way up aside from the rest from the... Wait, is that a whole cloud? Yes, it is. I have to build a whole, whole ass cloud here. Right there. And now it's mostly straight shot, but there's still a couple more bits here that I have to plan out. Nice. So that was a good transition. Life in the mines. Now I need... What is that? I need this piece that doesn't actually cover the full thing. Interesting. All right. Okay, now we're putting in the rest of the spots here. We need the textured pipe pieces. Oh, I see. The, it needs the two spot thing because, uh... 
the pipe has to go on evenly so it doesn't completely go over one spot or another. It's actually like two and a half spots long. Well, it's three, it's three spots long, but it has to go a half a spot off of each direction. Okay, we need a Goomba here. Koopa shell. Why is there like another layer of green on top of this? That makes no sense. Oh, I think I see what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to be like the foreground green. And there you have it. The diorama is complete. That is a satisfying to touch kind of thing. I don't think I left any studs exposed except for the bricks here, which are supposed to be. Yeah, oh yeah, it even shows the 3D green right there. Okay, so I, I did this right. Cool. Alright, next, next spot. Okay, now we have to flip this over. Yellow bit at the end. Now we need this piece from before that I made. This long ass piece. Um, specifically, we need it to be. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's the same way, regardless. We need them to be lined up properly. With this on the blue tread, and then this tread here. And now it kind of goes back and forth. Now we have to curl, curl it over, and then snap it at the top. Okay, makes sense. We have one row left that we could snap. We could snap the two sides together. There we go. It just loops endlessly. Very nice. That is a satisfying build. Hefty. It's telling me specifically to line it up so that I can see... Okay, like this. It's telling me specifically to line it up like that so that this star is the last piece before it turns. I don't really think it matters, but... This is Knight from Magic, Might and Magic 3, Isles of Terra. They're fighting a giant dragon on the cover. That's cool. Now it's time to bring this back out. And 
it says, very specifically, to slot it in. I'm guessing I have to slot it in so it goes down the middle rod, directly in the middle. works. Nope. Something's not right here. Oh, you can't turn it backwards. It gets jammed if you turn it backwards. But it does work this way. Or it's supposed to. Uh, nope. It got jammed. Hold on. keeps getting jammed for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't know, maybe that'll get fixed later. kind of have to yeah so you're right about the long piece being an antenna yes you were i think if it jams you just got to kind of force it until it goes okay they want this piece in the front like this it definitely seems to not go backwards there's definitely some mechanic that i built here that that's not allowing it to actually move backwards and yes the uh the long piece is indeed an antenna. Folds out like that. Alright, time to move on to bag 20. Let's put these remaining pieces here in storage. We don't need them anymore. There's quite a few of them. Oh, this is the city theme from, uh, SimCity. Not bad. So here's bag 20. And here's bag 20. There's two bag 20s for some reason. Let's put this off to the side for now. Red, some parts of my hands are here. Okay, back to back to normal building.
Oh shit! Hey, Shell Shock! Hey, thanks for the raid! I appreciate it. I'm still like a good uh, 30 40 minutes out from the end of this thing. How was your stream? I cannot find the piece I need. <laughs> dang it. God dang it. Alright. This is gonna be gentle shift sifting for a moment. Just beat Onimusha Warlords. Nice. There it is. Found it. You missed me putting together the actual, like, track on the inside of the NES. Pretty good. It's almost finished. Oh, shit. That wasn't supposed to detach. Oh, wait a minute. I just feel it's like a good troubleshooting spot. It is, uh, almost finished. Uh, I built the back, too, which just came off, but... It's easily fixable. It goes on, like, backside piece. Sticker. It works so far. It's supposed to. There we go. Thing came off. Spinning too hard. Anyway, we got quite a bit more to go here. I still have to build the front panel, the top panel. I have to not rip the back off like I just did there again. Let's leave it off. I'll fix it later. Oh, I know this noise. This is the opening to Secret of Mana. Wasn't this song on the last compilation? It was. Bad points from, uh, Pilot Wings. Ooh, I need this piece. I don't know what this is, but... There it is. green cap piece on both ends. <sighs> eh. Flip it over. Yellow brick onto the brown plate. Green. Okay, we just stack the green, stack the browns on top of each other. Potlings, that's dancing, you don't mix. It's not a fun, it's not an easy game. I know a lot of people praise it, but uh, I had a lot of frustration with it. Ugh, okay. What do I need here? I need the stud block. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. It's fine, I think I fixed it. Job me. Oh, that fell all the way over there too. That's upside down. Shoot. Oh, this is going pear shaped here.
Okay, I think that's right. And on top of this, we put this. This is uh, Mega Man and Bass. This is the database music. Sounds way different than the GBA version. <laughs> Am I right? Yep, database theme. Yeah, they use like they use like horns. Or flutes, rather, in the GBA version. Okay, so we gotta set this into the piece now. Uh, okay. Where, though? Wait, we just- do we just put it down? In here? Wait, it doesn't sound right. Oh, I see. We plug it into the top here. There we go. Looks good. Now, let me set the back to- Back plate back on this. I shouldn't push on the TV on the conveyor belt. Okay, got it moving. Okay, now I need four of the long brown flat pieces and six of the short flat brown pieces that have studs on them. So I think it's like one, two, oh I see, so I'm securing this to this part, this part now. Ooh, nice. Okay. Top is secure. This actually has a mechanism that stops you from rotating it in reverse. Like, it actually won't go in reverse. I think that's what one of those pieces were that I put in earlier. Though it does get caught sometimes, which is really weird. Oh, it's getting caught because the, the gear is touching... ...the thing. I think that's why. Okay, time to actually build the monitor screen. Let's put this away for a second again. So I need these two. Connect them with a single two, two space flat plate. And now I have to put down a bunch of uh, flat, or not flat, I have to put down a bunch of uh, single sized uh, thing rejigs. One eight and then two sixes. No, that's not an eight, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then it's a 12. One, two sixes. Two, three studs. Two flat plates. Oh, that was the wrong flat piece I put on there, by the way. I have to remove that. This is a uh, textured flat piece. I need a regular one. There we go. That was a mistake on my part. Two of the... Is that brown or black? It's brown. I 
And we got gray, other gray, curved macaroni pieces, as I call them. Krista Crystal Blue from Terranigma. Two of these. I think, yep. Oh man, you have to place these. These are not secure. <laughs> A single stud is holding them in. I'm sure this gets more secure later, but right now this is uh, the definition of insecure. I have never played Terranigma. I know one of my friends loves that game, and uh, he would be upset if I don't play it someday. What does this require? Oh, okay, I need a 6x2. There we go. Let me guess, rinse and repeat on the other side? Nope. Wait, nope, that's not right either. I need another 2x6 here. Extend the uh, frame out a bit here. This side of the frame is like really loose because it's only held on by a single stud. Elfara, Elfara Windland. That box art is uh, something all right. That's a Hudson Soft game. Okay, now I need this weird piece where it's like two layers and there's studs on one side, and I need a uh, I need the green a green flat bit. No, never mind. It's got, I need studs. Okay. Silly me. Silly me. Oh, thank you for the follow, Easy Logic. Appreciate it. Okay. We got this. Now we got the. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> it's just kind of mirroring itself as I go along here. I need two more of those weird blocks. Uh, as they... fit in there. Nice Battle Network animation. Thank you. I am a huge Battle Network fan, if you obviously couldn't tell. Um, I've been streaming the series as uh, its 15th US anniversary comes up. This is Hometown from Last Bible 3. Last Bibble. This is the Bibble. This thing's a hot mess. It's not a uh, secure, very secure. And now I gotta put it on this other hot mess here. A little better, but. We're still not there yet. I need this brown piece. I need this brown piece. Blue Moon or Red Sun? I streamed Blue Moon, but I've played Red Sun in the past. I own Red Sun. I don't actually own Blue Moon. Wait, seriously? I'm just dropping this in- oh my god. 
This is so unstable over here. I better be putting a piece on top of that. On stream, I did uh, three blue, four blue, five kernel, and I'm going to be doing six Gregar. And then hopefully by the time uh, the Star Force 15th anniversary comes around, uh, the, the DX version of one, the mod for that will be finished. These frames are not very good. <laughs> we need to work on getting this uh, secure as soon as possible here. See, I don't have this piece at the bottom. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. This edge is still not good, though. I need these cool looking pieces. I was actually holding one of the wrong ones. These cool looking pieces and a six stud brick in the middle. Oh, there's more to this than I think, okay. All right, matches up. Other end. Okay, I do have to do that, and then I need a uh, six by one underneath it. And then I gotta put these three by one plates on top to secure it further. Interesting. And then we just place this on the bottom. And now I rinse and repeat and place the other one on the top. No, he ho holiday in the village. This is the um, this is that game with that crazy uh, box art, like the glam rock dude on the front of it. Oh, there are the two uh, plates I need. This is familiar. Wherever I heard of this. Planet Select 2 from Super Bomberman 3. Oh, alright. It's the main Bomberman theme.
I just knocked a piece off. I know I did. Just heard it. Yep. Low tech. Baby. Branding. It's all about the branding. Okay, I need a bunch of these that go in the corners over here. Whoops. Okay, it's connected, perfect. This piece, uh, top right, no, not top right, because there's something else that goes there. This channel button, can't really see it that well, huh? Okay, now, uh, I have to place these bricks. I have to place a bunch of bricks on this side in like a very interesting pattern to kinda make it look nice. And this has various symbols on it. Yo, what the fuck? Didn't know this music starts going in hard after a few minutes. No wonder it loops so many times. The design piece, this one says, uh, on, off, UHF, and VHF. Need three of these. Four of these. Speaking of Mega Man, I was watching a video on the X7 development cycle for it was rough as hell. Yeah. And I need these two... The, these things that look interesting. Ugh. Okay, circles go on the. Oh my god, I cannot see. On the bits. Okay, oh god, really? Okay. And now I surround that green thing with these, the noodle pieces. It's pretty good. Next, 16 of these, there's a bunch of these, and they just have to go around the, uh, the thing completely. One, two, Three, four. Ba 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 ba
ba ba boom ba ba One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you kidding me? Ah! Oh, missing one yet again. All right, let's turn this over for a second. Need two of these. One on this joint. One on this joint. And then finally. Two just not on a joint, just at the top. I got one piece left over, though I'm missing a piece now. There it is, I think I see it on the floor. I have dropped so many pieces this build. Did a whole stream of that jumps dumpster Oh, you mean X7? Yeah, I did. Oh. It was a dumpster fire, but it was a fun dumpster fire. I enjoyed playing it. I still say that functionally Mega Man uh, X7 is a better game play, like in terms of gameplay, than Legends 2. I know that's like a blasphemous thing to say, but all right, we're not ready to put this on yet. We have to do the final, the final bag. This sounds familiar. Maui Mallard and Cold Shadow, the Flying Duckman. Man, they managed to recycle Donald Duck in so many different ways. I was, I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, direct, qu yeah, yep, that that clip. Oh no, 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 no. And I remember Lols was there, and he just messaged yes, and it's not in the. Uh, that was before I had the chat enabled, so I didn't get that. I keep forgetting this is here. <laughs> Alright, this is it, the last bag. Victory is within my grasp. Pretty good. It's going as long as I thought it would go. About the same, same amount of time. Four and a half hours, so half hour more to finish this. Then I will uh, enjoy the rest of the evening, and tomorrow... Yeah, uh, if you were here earlier, tomorrow what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to time travel in Animal Crossing and do Festival on stream. Maybe an hour, an hour and a half, and then I'll probably do more Mario 3D World. And then uh, on Tuesday I'll get back to X8 finally. Hopefully I actually keep to that now. Uh, okay. What do I have to do? I need two of these. Oh no, I only need one. No, I do need two of them. Okay, one just goes on, as is. The other I have to finagle first. Oh, I need the blue one. There we go. A little blue nugget. Nope. I see a thing rolling there. Do not. Next, I need the... What is that? What is that piece? It's a translucent... No, it's not translucent. It looks translucent. It is not. Okay, I need to shove this rod directly into the piece that I just put in there. It's a flexible piece. Ah! Okay. We got it in. Next, we need one of these gears, one of these 
level four rods, okay? We need a blue rod support, and we need one washer. So first we put the washer on here. Then we put the gear on, plastic gear. And then we put this on. Like so. And then what do I do? I put this here? Okay. This doesn't fit. I don't know how to get this like to fit in here properly. I get the point of it, but unless, hold on. I just knocked a piece off. Fuck. Okay, this one is that. Put it on this bumpy piece to make a dial. Oh, maybe that is it. So now I have this and authentic. Yep. Oh, I see the gear is already lined up now. I was trying to force it lower than I thought it would go. That piece exists just to make noise. Okay, there's the uh, piece I dropped. <laughs> All right, got that covered, cool. Flip it over. Now, I need three small circular black pieces, okay? And then I need three interesting looking pieces that I can't find anywhere else. This sounds familiar. DKC3 Waterworld. How many times have I heard a song named Waterworld on tonight's stream? It's definitely not the first time. Oh, here they are. There's these little pieces. They kind of look like the top of a rocket ship. Last one. Waterworld on Virtual Boy. Thought about streaming Hades any? <sighs> yes, I have, but I don't have the time for it. Uh, roguelikes aren't, and I don't really mix that well. I haven't even gone back to, to One Step from Eden yet. I streamed it once, and that was it. It's had multiple updates since then. Okay. Ooh, now for the fun part. Let's put this aside for a bit. Now I get to use this mysterious piece. I wonder what this could be. It's Mario. It's Mario. I need this weird looking thingy. This, this. Okay. Why isn't this fitting in? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I need the clear disc that's in here. Yep, there it is. And I need the gray 
microphone. Now finally, Mario goes right on here. Arrived at the Mushroom Kingdom, citizens were turned into bricks only for Mario to be made into a plate. <laughs> okay, now, uh, before I move any forward, I need one of these. And I need the TV again. The full TV. Now, this gets connected to this right here. And this goes in right at the edge. Secured. Look at that. Look at it go. That's impressive. Next, we grab the frame. This part with the clicker and we just apply it to the front like this. Like that. I like how they have this open so you could troubleshoot it easily. Meanwhile, this back plate comes out way too easily. <laughs> I keep doing that. Now, oh no, okay. We got, a, we got a bit of a project left here. We're not done yet. We need 24 of these. 40 of them, excuse me. We have one plate here, and we have to cover every single bottom part of it with a one by one black plate. So the so the frustration the frustrating part's not done yet. And it has to they make a note on here to make sure it's smooth. <laughs> if it is not smooth, this will not work. Always implement the craggle on the back planet back paneling. I don't know what you mean by that, but I think I have an idea of what you mean by that. <laughs> This. Ah, not that didn't work. Oh, that didn't work too because it went on a stud in the middle. Oh, crazy glue. <laughs> no. I don't know how I forgot that. I have seen the Lego movie, and I loved it. My mom and I watched it once. Fuck. Second film wasn't as good. Yeah, I've heard. Same with the Muppets. I never watched the Muppet movie, and that was something people told me I really should have. Come on. This is painful. This is Town Ruins from Dragon Quest V.
Come on. There we go. All right, everyone. We did it. You did it, Goku. Okay. Rough Gem's not here. Otherwise, he would have said that. Nice. Here we go. Some live alive music. Still waiting on that remake, Square Enix. Also, when did I become... I got so, like... I'm, like, not lined up properly anymore. <coughs> oh, that's not the piece I need. There it is. Yeah, Square Enix registered a trademark for this game in America last year, and people noted that this is similar to how uh, the Secret of, uh, the Trials of Mana remake went down with the trademark being announced and the game being announced a year later. So, maybe if we're lucky, remake of this game? I'd totally be down for a restream of it. If they make a remake of this game that's not ass like the original version. <sighs> cool. Alright, now we just literally slot that in to where the other panel is on the TV. We take this part and we just jam it in there. So it's somewhat easy to remove if you need to get in there. Now we need two of these. And one goes here? Yeah. And one goes here. Now we need eight of the squares. Oh, we're just literally building the top of this, aren't we now? There we go. That's eight of those. Oh, excuse me. Handle them out as such. Here, one here, one here, Is covered. Nice and clean. Clean. Nice. Clean. Nice. 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 Clean. Tight. I'm sorry, I'm just stealing Aaron's bits now. That voice kills me. Notice there is still a gap on the top. That's for Lego Mario to sit in so that he can uh, read the panels as they come by. Now, we're not done yet. Don't worry. On the top, we need this piece. 
because this piece is removable, so we just need it plastered on top with the studs available. Yep. Now, I'm gonna flip it over, flip it turnways. It's a couple, couple interesting things going on in the bottom there. We need three one by six gray blocks. One goes here. Nope, goes here, okay. One goes here. And the other one goes over here. Who are those last few songs? This is Quagmire from Equinox. The last song was Ice Scream from Mr. Nuts. Never played either of those games. I know what Mr. Nuts is. It's not as dirty as you think. Okay. I'm going to put this down for a bit because I think this part is actually done. we got to build the stand in the place where you are. Now, the biggest downside to this build, apparently, is that the stand doesn't connect to the TV. So the TV is just kind of resting on it, which is unfortunate. So let's start with this. Take this. Let me put two more of these on top. And I put two of these on the bottom. Wait, really? Yeah, I guess we do. And then we take two of these, I believe. Yeah. Two of these. This, we're rinse and repeating here. It is looking good. It is looking very good. It's looking very clean. Nice. Clean. Tight. Nice. Okay, now we rest this over here. This is. Oh, this is the same song. Never mind. Whoops. Now four times I have to build three one by one stacks of three. Four times I have to build one. Yeah. You know, my Lego made a Coliseum set as an inaccurate reproduction of where, of where the gangs. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, no. I, I figured they had made one at some point. Catacomb accurate. Jean Pierre's bloody corpse. Is, uh, is on the second floor. So, is it implied that he, like, the turtle was in his body when he died? So, so technically the turtle is dead? Yet, for some reason... Okay, so animals can have stands in JoJo, but... Even though Polnareff is in the turtle's body, he can't use either. He can't use the stand that he had. He has to use the turtle stand, which makes no sense because that's not a reflection of his own soul. But he also says straight up, "Oh, I can't use my stand anymore." Maybe it's because it turned into the Requiem stand, so he no longer has control over it. I don't know. Oh, did I skip something? Yes, I did. I, I skipped an entire step. How did I do that? doesn't feel straight. Shit. Okay. 
I built some corners. This isn't level. I don't know why it feels that way. 9,036 pieces and cost 550 bucks. Wow. This was 220 and is about 2,600 pieces. Hey, I mean, if people like the Lego builds, you know, maybe it's something to consider in the future. If I get my hands on it. Oh, this stand's getting built upside down. The stand's not even full in the middle. Eep. There it is. <laughs> That'll be a little, little more than that. Kind of just rests on it like this. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Whoa, that's not good. All right, we need to secure this a bit better. C'est fini. No. Say fini? No. Why is this like this? It is not straight. It's like bent in the middle. Okay, let's move these two pieces over here. I want to see how this lines up. It does line up. Sort of. I don't understand why this piece is up here. Let me check that again. I want to make sure I didn't mess that up. Holding it upside down. Nope. They definitely say put it at the very end like that. This is Tengai Makio Zero, Dark Town, by Hudson Soft. Alright, it does kind of stick in, but not really. But there you go. There is, in full, the Retro TV. It looks like I'm looking up. I'm actually looking straight at my uh, monitor. That's not, I saw I buck teeth. Ugh. I think a piece just flew out the back. What happened? Yeah, I was touching the the little pipe on the back, and it came out. Oh yeah. Again, if I had the Lego Mario, I could peel this piece off the top here, put the Lego Mario there, and the colored panels on the inside would react 
he would react to them and it would play music and sounds. But yeah, this, uh, this is pretty impressive, I gotta say. It is worth the time putting this together. And I mean, it doesn't, it, again, it doesn't stay on the, on the stand very well, so... The stand also doesn't feel right. Took you, what, 9-10 hours total? Just about. Uh, this is 4 hours and 45 minutes. And the last one, I ended the stream at exactly 5 hours. So this one is, a uh, a little shorter. But hey, it's a, it's a nice build. It is a very nice build. Pull back a bit on it. I mean, you get your money's worth out of this kit. I'm not gonna say you don't, because you definitely do. Very nice. It is incredible. I, I very much enjoy doing this, even though it does hurt. My hands do hurt a little bit now. But yeah, it's it's really nice. Mario Kart cartridge is nice. Slide that in. Slide it in. Press it down. Close it. This thing actually plugs into both controller sockets if you missed. Like, it actually sticks in there. It doesn't stick very well, but it sticks. Controller is really good. TV is pretty damn amazing. Very fun. Very much worth the time. Anyone who loves Legos, definitely, uh... Wish they'd also done a zapper. That would've been nice. I'd say anyone who loves uh, Legos should definitely look into this. I'm exhausted. I don't know where I'm going to put these two things. I'll tr figure something out. But, uh, this knob, by the way, not the best. It kind of comes right out, but... Slide it right back in. Have more fun. I can't see myself ever dismantling and rebuilding this. Have I eaten? Yeah, I ate dinner uh, about six hours ago. I just stepped on a piece that fell off somewhere. Spare. Speaking of, this is the total amount of spare pieces I got, not including the uh, brick remover. So again, it's mostly little pieces aside from one bait, one 2x4 plate. Uh, now for the interesting conundrum of where in this room am I, am I putting this thing? <laughs> I do not have room anywhere. Uh, but I'll figure something out. Did they both come in the same set? Yes, it is one box, uh, with both builds in it. Let me get it. One box with both builds. Eighteen plus, two thousand six hundred forty-six pieces. Uh, it's set seven one three seven four. Um, how many excess pieces? I'd say about twenty or so. Again, they're all they're all little tiny pieces, not counting the uh, the extractor tool. Comes with two big instruction manuals. Very nice. Very high quality. I will probably just hold on to this box. For the uh, builds, because I could probably shove them in there if I really need to. The NES could definitely fit in the white box with no trouble. I don't know if I'll, I'm probably going to throw this big one out though. This is not worth holding on to. Uh, I'll probably throw that with recycling tomorrow, tomorrow night. A bunch of bags that I have to get rid of. Bunch of excess Legos. But yeah, that was uh, the Lego NES. I had a lot of fun. I still didn't open my invitation letter. That'll just sit there until the end of time. Let me move this over. So I can finish up here. I just realized I took a piece of the NES off when I pulled the controller off. It was stuck to the back of it.
There we go. One second. I didn't actually turn it off. This thing has like a cap on it. He has a lens cap on it. And here I am. Ugh. Terrible lighting. But yeah, it's done. Um, so... I guess that's guess that's kind of it for the stream. I mean, I've been streaming for five hours. I can't play a game right now. I mean, I could play a game, but I've got other stuff I want to do. I'm tired. It is 12.30. I have work in the morning. Well, afternoon, but whatever. Uh, uh, excuse me. Um, SimCity Town, by the way. So, yeah. Uh, here's, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, tomorrow... Yeah, I'm going to get some rest. Don't worry. Tomorrow, uh, probably do Festival and Animal Crossing, and I will likely do Mario 3D World after that. Tuesday, I'll probably do X8 fully, just to give it a full stream, finally. Um, and then we'll see what happens after that. I, I'm gonna try to beat both of those games within the week. I don't know if I'll finish Bowser's Fury before next week, but whatever. Uh, next week, I'm gonna do Persona 5 Strikers. Once that comes out, I should have that on Tuesday. Uh, and also, I'm gonna be getting, either Wednesday or Friday, I'm probably gonna be getting Super Robot Wars T for the Switch. I don't know if I'm gonna stream that or not. I don't even know if I'm gonna play it right away. I might hold on to that till, for a rainy day. But, uh, well, we, we shall see. We shall see what I wanna do. Before you go, do you take raid suggestions? I mean, I never really have enough people to raid, but yeah, um, if you wanna suggest someone. Usually what I do is I just raid someone on my team. Uh, but if you have someone that you want to suggest, I don't mind, since you were the one who sent me most of the audience in here right now. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. The last Bible song, this one is Memories. I'm watching one group's play through of SRWT, and it's been great. Oh, nice. I Odd Hour NYC. Okay, are they streaming right now? Uh, nice. I was actually gonna... I, like, I, I realized that I should have waited because this year's the 30th anniversary of Super Robot Wars, and they're probably going to announce a big game in, like, another month or two. So, I probably jumped the gun on getting a Robot Wars game for Switch, but, uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe I won't like it, maybe I won't like the series. To be honest, there's not a whole lot of series in T that I'm super interested in. It's mostly just, um, G Gundam and Cowboy Bebop. And Bebop gets one unit, <laughs> so... There you go. I also have MX Portable, which has uh, uh, G Gundam in it, and it takes place. It's like the story for that is so weird because it already takes place at like the end of the series, and you get so many G Gundam units in that game. Uh, but I'll see. Anyway, I I'm gonna head out. Uh, I'll be back hopefully tomorrow. I, I think most of the bullshit keeping me from streaming every night is close to gone for now. At least I'll have to. I'll have to see. Uh, oh yeah, if you missed it. If you missed it earlier, I forgot about this. Uh, I have the Mother vinyl soundtrack now. It is really nice. I don't have a way of playing it, but, uh, I mean, the soundtrack's online readily available, so I'm probably gonna put this for dis on display somewhere at some point. Get, like, one of those nice record, uh, things. It's on Fangamer for only, like, 50 bucks. This is a reprint. It's not the original one. I mean, it is, it is an official one, and it is the original soundtrack, but uh, it's a reprint that uh, Fangamer did. The discs are, like, rose-colored and have, like, an interesting pattern on them. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah. Oh, and if you missed this, uh, my girlfriend got me a comb and beard oil for Valentine's Day. I'm really happy about that. Okay. Well, stick around. I'll raid uh, at our NYC. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, maybe. 
And, uh, you all have a great evening. Yes, it is very nice, uh... Yeah, I definitely recommend looking into the beard oil. I've used it once, and I'm already feeling it's, uh, doing a lot for me. Turn that down a bit. Sorry, I'm getting thrown off because I look at the preview. Anyway, yeah, y'all have a good night. Uh, I'll be raiding Odd Hour NYC in just a minute or so. So stick around, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh! Keep forgetting. I want to do more webcam stuff. Obviously, I can't do more Legos because I built it. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do that might be, like, worth the time, I'm definitely up for hearing it. Uh, I mean, people, like, I Izzy and my friend Kai were literally joking that I should do food reviews, and I'm just like, I guess. I, I don't know what I could review on stream. I don't think people want to watch me eat, so I don't know. Uh, but if you have any ideas, just let me know. If you don't care, don't worry about it. If you don't want to hear my voice... Don't worry about it. Uh, if you don't want to see my face, don't worry about it. Just chatting? I mean, yeah, but I, here's the thing. I could just chat when I'm doing anything. I'd rather have a purpose to the stream. Otherwise, why bother streaming? But yeah, I'm gonna get going. Uh, stick around. I'll raid. Have a good night. See y'all tomorrow.